Y'all need to stop with this. Everything's black. Pick. Yo, what's good? It's the kid Gizmo. Atali. With another exhilarating, exuberant, extraordinary episode of Crow. My friend. My homie. <laughs> I don't even know y'all like that. <laughs> Tyler, what are we talking about today, fam? Yo, we talking about popular characters in Japan. Popular characters in Japan. of Kurokai is brought to you by Patreon. Patreon, if you want to support your boys, what we do on this channel, please check out the Patreon. A dollar goes a long way. And a really long way. I'm unemployed, so it... It goes all the way. It goes all the way. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, let's get into this. Let's go. Let's go. What's, what's a popular character from Japan that maybe the people don't know about? That maybe the people don't know about? Or both that I'll, they know I'll, about. I'm going to tell you right. the one that they don't know about. They don't know about. But you're going to learn today. Wow. His Wait. name is Sento-kun. Sento-kun? Sento-kun. <laughs> Sento-kun, oh. Sento-kun. Yeah. He is a super popular character from the prefecture of um, Nara. Nara, Nara, yeah. Nara. Yeah. He looks like a half, no, like a third of a baby, third of a deer, third of a monk, all wrapped up in like this like... Something that came straight out of like hell. <laughs> but he's smiling. He's smiling at you, and um, you can like touch him at the station. They have like his statue there. You can like pose for a picture with him. He is creepy as sh. world did they think this was cute? Sento Kun looks like you're, you're in the full metal alchemy universe. <laughs> God and wrong. You're, and like, yeah. you're, you're trying to yeah, bring your you're brother back. back. And then all and of then a sudden, you, you summon it. Homunculus. Like, it's, like, it's like humongous. It's Sento Kun. Like, that's what, that's what Sento Kun looks it's like. like. It's like, well, he's got the face of a baby. He's got the dots like Krillin from Dragon Ball. Yeah, it's true. And he's got antlers of a deer. Burn it with fire. Burn it with, what? Burn it who with fire. Who made this design? And who thought it it just it just passed all their checks? Apparently, I guess because they have deer in Nara. They have lots yeah, of so. they have lots of wildlife, wild deer in Nara. That's one of the cool things. You can go there and just feed wild deer. They're really people friendly. But Sentokun is not people friendly. <laughs> Sentokun does not. He looks like, like, like if you wake up in the middle of the night, he'd be standing over you with a knife. Personality. What did have it? Sentokun is very active, always full of vigor, and good at acquiring wisdom for tomorrow from old knowledge. Sounds like a serial killer. Also, he is curious about all things and quite playful. <laughs> Sounds like a serial killer. Special skills. <laughs> Taking 12 <laughs> trademark poses. He is over the dead body. <laughs> he's fluent in every language on earth. I mean, because he's got to he's got to lure his victims yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. Way yeah. Another, you, know? you gotta talk to them. You gotta talk <laughs> shit to your victim before you kill him. Also, good at imparting his energy to others around him. <laughs> Murderous energy. Oh, bro, this is so getting demonetized. It's, it's already... It, it, it's it's the first, like, minute I, of it. I just <laughs> uploaded it now, and it's already demonetized. demonetized. I'm sure. Bobby the Every day, we die a little more. Send Send the <laughs> Yo, Gizmo, what's another popular character in Japan? Dog, you know who's super popular? Freaking Anpanman. Yeah, he is, he's insanely popular. No, seriously, and like, everyone knows. Maybe not everyone. Maybe because like, when no, I was in the U.S., I Japan did knows, knows Anpanman. Yeah. Everybody in Japan knows Anpanman. Essentially, Anpanman is a superhero humanoid 
piece of bread. bread. <laughs> no, I, so I've never actually watched I'm, an episode. No, because it's like a little kid's thing. Yeah, it's a little kid thing. But he's a superhero piece, piece of, bread. of bread. Dog, in my childhood, <laughs> I liked many things. I liked radioactive turtles in the sewer that yep. knew ninjutsu. Chipmunks that solved crimes. Hell yeah. A rad tad bunch of potheads <laughs> in a green car that took masks on people with a talking dog. Because the only reason the dog was talking is they was high, bro. Yeah. yeah. Never in my life did I ever think that bread? a bread fighting crime right. was, was cool. Okay. It was, was cool. doable. It was doable. It was doable. I, I, even as a kid, I'd have been like, this is whack. <laughs> you know, like. I'd just be like, this is whack. That, you know, I don't think that can. I don't think that's possible. Now, turtles mutating into ninjas, that's yeah, okay. that's okay. That's okay, but, yo, like, the, and I think part of the thing is, like, his master, like, his, he has a master, he has a master, the Jam OG, Jam OG, yeah, uh, yeah, he, like, has to bake his face, you know, because, like, sometimes people eat, I think sometimes people no, eat him more things, An Ban Man eats takes, himself, he can, he takes off his head and he can eat, he takes, like, piece of his face off and he can eat it. Because it's bread. But also, he'd be like, hey, like, eat something, and he'll give you, like, a piece of his face because it's bread to eat. Which is, like, super high in carbs. Like, that's not good. Like, why are you just giving these people these carbs? The, that's the biggest problem you have with that? I'm just saying, like, this is he weird. He is self-cannibalizing. I, 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 like, <laughs> it's like me, like, Tally, like, like, yeah, half of my arm. Half of my arm. What about God? <laughs> That's what Alpha Man represents, baby. I'm I don't know. Saying, man. Oh, the God. Japanese Jesus. The bread guy. <laughs> yeah. Popular characters <laughs> in Japan. America has a whole bunch of cat shows. You have Aristocrats. That's the movie. You have Garfield. You have Felix. You have Tom and Jerry. But you also have Doraemon. <laughs> Doraemon? Oh, Doraemon's a cat. Well, he's not cat. only a cat. He's also a robot. He's a robot. From the future. From the future. Future and he has a pocket that he can pull out narcotics a, from. He can pull out anything that you can think of. Anything you can think of. So if the little kids are thinking about narcotics, he can literally just like, bruh. I got you, bruh. Okay. Anyway, he's a futuristic robot robot cat. He's a, he's a boy too, apparently. He's a boy robot. A boy. Yeah. His voice is super weird. Yeah. And there's actually a food that's modeled from his oh. TV show that is now that is super popular. It's called Dorayaki. 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 Um, but I think Dorayaki was already something, and Doraemon might have came after Dorayaki. But it would yeah. make sense that Doraemon likes Dorayaki. Yeah. And Dorayaki became popular after Doraemon. I think that's how it works. Because Doraemon is insanely popular. Actually, we have a really famous shop really close to my apartment mm -hmm. that people wait in line for about an hour for to get Dorayaki. Yeah. Man, y'all got nothing better to do with y'all eyes, bro. It's just like a, a small pancake with Anko in the middle. Anko yeah. is like sweet bean paste and then another pancake on or, the bottom. Or it could be cream in the middle as well. Oh, so yeah, I guess yeah. so. Uh, Anyways, I to do with your life, bro. Uh, he also has a door. He has a doko demo door. Mm, you can go anywhere. You can go anywhere door. So you open just, the door and you can it yeah. transports you to wherever you want to go. Wherever you want to go. So you want to go see your boo? Bam. You want to go spy on Beyonce? Bam. You want to go see prison reform? <laughs> Not, Not happening. Don't go demo door. Don't go demo demo. That don't go demo door. Don't go to places that don't exist. <laughs> Popular character. Another popular character from Japan. All right, so we can't go too off the handle. We, we, we got we to bring it like home base. A home base. Like, like home things. cooking? No, nah, your home cooking is subpar to say. <laughs> Damn, I got a cooking channel. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> You're no I'm, like I'm just playing. I'm, but, uh... Godzilla, bro. Yeah, Godzilla. Godzilla is probably one of the most international, iconic characters of Japan. And how Japan gets made fun of the most from most foreigners. Oh, yeah. Look, oh, yeah. God. Like, living in Japan now, <laughs> trust me, Asian jokes are not yeah, funny. They, they're they're yeah, not even we, creative. We, they, yeah. I can make fun of Japanese people about so oh, much than, more than Godzilla, than, than Godzilla <laughs> or chopsticks or they eat dogs. Like, come on, man. Like... 
step your race up, bro. It's 2019. Why is this a mention of this video? Step, step your racism up. All my no beaches out there. Step it up. Step your racism up, bro. Step it up. I want to hear them fresh racist jokes. jokes. Don't come with that garbage <laughs> racism. It's 2019. <laughs> Godzilla. Yeah, but Godzilla, Godzilla is, is the king. The king of all monsters. Yeah. It's kind of crazy when you think about what Godzilla stems from. Godzilla was actually inspired by the nuclear attack, nuclear attacks on Japan. He, They say the nuclear attack and the people that died, the karma manifested and the radiation manifested Godzilla. So that's what oh. Godzilla is. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. So that's what Godzilla that's, apparently that's re deep, represents. Though. Yeah, so Godzilla is, of course, a popular character that you all know. So mm. hopefully that's a, some information that you know. And one day when you're on Jeopardy and you need to answer uh -huh. uh, where Godzilla stems from and you bet your whole thing on it and you, in, and you win. And in, inevitably lose because I might have been wrong <laughs> somewhere. Len Tally. But, but if you do Len win, tally. donate all your funds to Tally. So, anyways, <laughs> popular character in Japan. Oh, crayon. Who? Shin. Oh, Shin-chan. Shin! Shin-chan. Big up Lenore, by the way. She loves Shin-chan. I watched the American version that um, Adult Swim did mm. of Shin-chan. It's not as good. I loved it. You loved, but like, but, but it's, now it's you, different. You it's, understand the Japanese, Japanese nuance and in the language yeah. and like it's what, much different. It's yeah, much it doesn't translate. It doesn't the translate same. the way. The same way. When I came to Japan at first, I thought it was for children, mm. but I realized it's not. Like Shin Chan goes, it it well, touches all levels. Like little kids like Shin Chan. Yeah, and but adults, also like I have high like, school adult yeah, students. Yeah, they like Shin Chan. Shin Chan too. is he is. Yo, he's funny. He's yeah, really, he's funny. He's really, really funny. Like, I don't know if there's another character in Japan quite like Shin-chan. Shin -chan. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I didn't watch that much Shin-chan, but from uh. what I watched of Shin-chan, I was like, this is really funny. It's yeah. just like, I don't have time to... The, yeah, if watch. you've never watched it, um, do the, either do the subtitle version. You can do the American version, too. The American version is funny. I enjoyed it. It's completely different, and they change, they change pretty much everything yeah. about the story. But in general, it's still funny. But the Japanese version, if you want to feel like the, the get the real gist of it, watch Shin Chan. Shin Chan actually is pretty pretty hilarious. And even at our age, we can still get like we can get comedy out of it. So yeah, Shin Chan. Check out Shin Chan if yeah, you haven't yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shin Chan. Popular oh, characters in Japan. Japan. You got Gizmo? Yo. All right. Oh. So, what? Yeah, I already How know. do you know? I know. How do you know? I'm going to get into some, some effery. I'm going to get into some effery. What does that signify? I'm not sure what that means, but we're doing sus files. <laughs> feel comfortable with that so I we're gonna get in some some shenanigans okay I'm going to distill 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 not distill disrupt 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 stop I'm gonna just stop this disrupt. myth black people I know we've had a hard life and you know they robbed us of our culture though I have that now in being from Trinidad and Tobago, but my ancestors didn't have that. They likely came from Ghana, and they were stripped of their their culture. Mm. That being said, mm. y'all need to stop with this. Everything's black. Piccolo ain't black, bro. <laughs> He's not. Ah. Uh... Piccolo is not black. <laughs> He's green. He's green. He's green. He sound he sound like he could be hood. He sound but he's not black. <laughs> what black man you know go take care of somebody else kid bro what black man you know go go ra raise somebody else's child who in Dragon Ball Z is the most black Goku <laughs> <laughs> Goku you know why you know why one 
He does whatever he wants to do. Yeah. He always getting in fights. He always getting in fights. He don't raise his damn children. <laughs> Goku's the most. Goku's the blackest dude on the show, bro. <laughs> like, y'all need to stop fronting that Piccolo's black. Piccolo ain't black. He's a Namek. He don't even got a penis. He don't. They're asexual. <laughs> They don't have females. How, how do we even know this? Dog. He don't even got a penis. He don't even got a penis. He don't even got a penis. I don't feel comfortable with that. Stop the madness. Stop the madness. Let's public, public service, service announcement. announcement. Piccolo was not black. He wasn't. Stop it, it is not. He's not. It will not be. Will not be. I mean, is he on welfare? He might be. He, he don't got a house. Listen to me. Stop asking questions. It's yeah. none of your concern. Damn nigga, chill. Popular the characters in Japan. Oh, you got this little kid. This little kid. The little kid. He wears little glasses. Kid. He wears glasses. He's in a suit. He's in a but suit. But he also has shorts on. A shorts. Because he's he a plays, little kid. He plays soccer too. I guess so. He plays soccer. Yeah, know. yeah. He's a detective. He's a detective. He solves all the crimes. Uh, His name is Conan. 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 The Conan. Conan the I barbarian. Yeah. yeah. He's over there taking virgins. <laughs> over there taking virgins, boy. Can't be a barbarian in 2019. Can't be a barbarian no more. Yo, Conan. He's a child detective, and he's still one of the most popular characters in Japan. Yeah. Yo, he has movies coming out all Left the... and right, yeah. He's like, Damn time. he's a genius. Uh, he solves crimes. And never cases. ages. No, but you know, like, why, right? Apparently, he's like the soul of an older person in a child's body or something like that. The old soul? Yeah, no, but like, <laughs> something happened uh, where he became a little kid. Uh, but he was actually like a grown man. He was forced to eat some poison and instead of the poison killing him, it turned him into a child. So, Which like, what happens often. In Japan, yeah, of, course, of course, of course, of course. They all, they it's, always... It's the cute poison. They forgot. Yeah. It's like, the real poison, the cute poison, they gave him the cute poison, so he just turned into a little kid. A little kid. A little kid. New poison. They say it can't be detected in any autopsy. Poison. <laughs> poison. Poison. So he just solves crimes all day and makes movies all night. And when it comes to growing up and you know having sex and doing anything that adults do, he don't you know he's not about that. He's a kid. He's a kid. He's a kid. He goes to school right. all the time for twenty five years apparently. Yep, because he's a kid forever. He's a kid forever. Ever. Forever. Forever. Ever. Forever. Ever. Forever. Ever. 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 Ah, uh, yeah, but he's, yeah, not a po- he's not a popular character throughout Japan. Oh, he's, he's popular because he was like he's one in of our the city. He's well, no, course. he's so he's one of the most popular characters of all of Japan. Oh no, oh you're talking about Iyasu, the person Tokugawa, Tokugawa Iyasu. Yes, the person. So oh. they took Tokugawa Iyasu and made him oh, the cute. mascot for. <laughs> Please our city. put the picture up here, son. Like actually, side by side would be really awesome. How do you? <laughs> Take a murderous, a murderous killer. He loved war and boiled him down to this. No, he didn't he, love war, but like, he I mean, like a, he's a warlord. He was he's a, a warlord. warlord. He's, he's a warlord. He has like a, a piano skirt. A piano skirt. He has a freaking the the top knot. The top knot, which is unagi, <laughs> which is like an eel, and ham, because it's the the delicacy of hamamatsu. They just made this they, this warlord. They, he the, rolling in yo, his yo, brain, yo, yo, bro. He could, he would have chopped off so many heads. So everybody's so, head, everyone's, everyone's head. head. I swear, <laughs> if I die and y'all, y'all disrespect me and make me cute, g- 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 was it like Giz- Giz- Gizmo, Gizmo Chan or something? Oh God, oh, we're gonna get God. Gizmo. We're gonna get your Gizmo. eyes would be at the size of your face. You know what's gonna happen now? We're oh. gonna get Gizmo Chan like paint drawing oh, God. fan art now. Oh God. With Seto Kun. Y'all disrespect horns. me. <laughs> like that. I will haunt you. I will haunt you. Yeah, Yasu Yo. is another popular one. He, yeah, he, yes, he represents yes. Tokugawa Yasu, yeah. who was a warlord in Japan. Yeah. Um, He built Hamamatsu Castle. He was one of the first people who tried 
and started the unification, unification of, Japan. of Japan. Yeah, Tokugawa was was a, was a daimyo. A daimyo was a warlord. He had many samurai and many areas under his control. So from here all the way to basically Tokyo was his domain. Wow. He was one of the most powerful and influential people in Japanese history. history yeah. Without without Tokugawa I- Iyasu, maybe Japan would be split. You know, half and half like Korea is right now. Yeah. But yo, those are a few popular characters in Japan. Yeah. You know, a little bit of the good, a little bit of the ignorance, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of the. More of the ignorance. The nickness. <laughs> uh, that being said, it's the kid Gizmo. And Tali. Kuro Coach. To infinity. In the hole. <laughs> Piccolo ain't black, bruh. It's Goku. <laughs> Goku black. Goku Black. No, literally, literally, Goku Black. Kaiyo sama ni soudan shite mitara dou da be. Bitch, it ain't mine.